Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've given one of these video updates and with the start of our fall programming this Sunday, I wanted to make sure and share with you uh, a number of important announcements related to what's going on in the life of the parish. So this Tuesday past on September 6th, we resumed our Bible study on the Gospel of St. Luke and uh, also our Bible study on 1 Corinthians on Saturdays. So Tuesdays at 10 a.m., Saturday at 4 p.m., throughout the fall into the winter, we'll have a weekly Bible study. Check our online calendar, as is uh, the case with all of the rest of these announcements. Um, on Sunday, uh, September 11th, we're going to resume our uh, church school. Church school is for uh, all the children in our parish from ages 3 up to 18, and then for adults as well. Uh, for those children who will be attending our church school, if you haven't yet registered, you can do that online on our parish website. Uh, they'll be uh, gathering together during the pre-communion prayers in the narthex with their teachers. They'll receive communion with their teachers, and then they'll uh, head off to their classes. Uh, adults and high school students will stay in the sanctuary. Uh, at the conclusion of the liturgy, uh, there'll be an adult and high school lesson given. And then the high school students will be dismissed to go have a discussion. And then we'll all join up together uh, for fellowship. Um, this Sunday, though, we do have our annual parish picnic at Mahaffey Park here in Loveland. Uh, we hope that you'll join us for that. What else is going on? Well, quite a bit. Um, the following Sunday, uh, in addition to church school, we're also going to begin our fall series on Introduction to Christianity and Orthodoxy. Uh, that 101 course will be at 1230 in the nave of the church. Anyone new uh, or wants to renew their understanding of the church or long-standing member who, who perhaps took this class a while ago, I'll be teaching that class. Uh, there will be a total of six of those classes. Again, calendar is on our online calendar at our website, saintspiritum.church. At the same time, we're going to be offering a 201 course on the Divine Liturgy taught by Father Gabriel and Dick Nicholas in the upper room. And same thing. It'll be running for six Sundays, calendars online. All those classes will be concurrent with one another. Um, what else? We've got uh, the Relationship Project. That happens on Sunday evenings for our youth. Uh, again, calendars online. That begins in a couple of weeks. One of the things that we added this fall is an opportunity for those of you who would like to attend a weekday liturgy uh, but can't come at our usual time of 930. Of course, we've got a, a weekday liturgy scheduled every week um, from now until Christmas. Um, those are at 930, but we're adding once a month a 6 a.m. liturgy. The first of those will be coming up uh, this Friday, uh, September 9th. And if I'm looking at the schedule, uh, the, the additional 6 a.m. liturgies will be on October 6th. Uh, November 8th and December 9th. For those of you who'd like to come to liturgy, liturgy only, and then head off to work. Um, we've also got an eight dates program. This is for couples um, in the parish, either preparing for marriage, in the start of their marriage, been married 30 years, a wonderful program. It'll start uh, on uh, September 29th. It's in the evening. It runs all the way into February. Uh, there'll be a video uh, presentation put together uh, by members of the church uh, at the metropolis of san francisco who put this program together then there'll be small group discussions there's a book that accompanies uh, these uh, classes and gatherings and uh, in between that the encouragement is that couples will be going on dates about 37 couples so far registered if you'd like to join us we really encourage you to do so um, it's going to be incredible um, what else is happening that seems like a lot, but one more thing that I wanted to point out, uh, on November 8th through November 11th, we're going to take a trip to the Monastery of St. Paisios. If you're interested in attending that uh, trip, that pilgrimage, just reach out to the church office. We'll give you information. And on November 12th, there'll be a retreat down at St. Catherine's that our parish is part of, uh, related to the Good Samaritan Project uh, that we've been working on through uh, the hard work of Deacon Mark Odell. Uh, details will be coming out. Lastly, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about giving and um, a parish assembly that's coming up in October. Obviously, you know, we do everything here based on your generosity and we try to take your generosity very seriously in terms of how we deploy those resources of time, talent, and treasure. Um, if you are new to our community and you yet 
uh, have made yet to have become, let's say, a giving member, we encourage you to do that. You just go to online to saintspiriton.church. You'll see donate uh, or online giving. You can click there and you can donate and give your tithe to the church. There's also um, the availability to give those donations in the offering box when you're here at church. So we encourage you uh, to please, please become a participant in, in the life of the parish and uh, in supporting us financially. Now, um, I also want to mention that, you know, our Philoptos, our Friends of the Poor, is very active. They've got things going on uh, all throughout the fall. Um, they'll give you details about that. The Walk and Give, which will be play, taking place in October. Details again on the website. Um, but you can pick up information when you're here. You become a participant in the Walk and Give to End Local Hunger. But they do have a social coming up on October 19th. As you can tell, it is the fall. Lots of ministry and ministry programs uh, resuming. If you have any interest in participating in uh, any of the ministries of our parish, you can check our website for what ministries are available. We also do have a ministry booklet that you can uh, look at. We can give you one of those when you're here. So I mentioned giving, and that's also related to our upcoming parish assembly, which will be in October. Uh, it'll fall on a Sunday, October uh, 23rd. That's an important assembly. We would want all of our members to be there. We're going to be voting on something really important to the life of our community. Uh, details will be coming out uh, about an attempt uh, by our parish to eliminate uh, and get rid of our mortgage. Uh, there'll be a number of town halls um, over the next uh, few weeks that you can attend. Let me just give you those dates. So the first of those town halls will be on September 25th, immediately after uh, Divine Liturgy, we'll be talking about what exactly are we attempting to do in the uh, elimination of our mortgage and how you can participate. The second presentation is going to be on October 5th. I'm going to move my camera so I can just look at my calendar. It'll be at 6 p.m. and we'll be getting those inf that information out to you uh, and that'll be by Zoom. Uh, the last of those presentations uh, will be on October 9th. Uh, we'll be giving a presentation as well on the mortgage and its reduction, all in preparation for that all-important assembly on the 23rd and a vote related to the burning of our mortgage and getting rid of that debt. Um, all right, that's a lot, and I hope that you were able to take notes, and we look forward to seeing you uh, here at the parish uh, soon. If not uh, this Sunday, God bless. Thanks for listening.